You know, I never thought it would actually happen. I never thought the two tail thoughts was ever gonna get some actual recognition. But here we are. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to another Steam video. And just like I said just a moment ago, the two tail thoughts is hot right now. So today I'm here to bring you my special build for the two tail thoughts, which use maximizes the damage, just so you can get the most out of the two tails. For this build, you're gonna need a couple of charge with light mods and some of the mods this season. So. Hopefully you have some of those. If not, always remember to check up on Banshee. Make sure that you check up on them pretty much daily or follow some of the many accounts that tweet out what he always has daily. Usually you can keep up with the mods and pick up the ones that you're missing. But without further ado, let's actually start getting into the build and why this thing is so amazing. Okay, so let's start off from the top and there's two mods that we really need here. We need Elemental Ordinance, which should pick up from the work table. And we also need Rocket Launcher Ammo Finder. Rocket Launcher Ammo Finder is going to make it so we find some more heavy ammo. Making sure that we're always stocked up. And then this is going to allow us to create Elemental Wells whenever we get kills with our grenades. So the Elemental Wells are going to be a big part of this build. So you definitely want to go and pick this up from the war table. You don't really have to do anything special to pick it up. You just go there, pick it up, and then it's yours. So yeah, Elemental Ordinance and some Rocket Launcher Ammo Finder. For the gauntlets, we're running Elemental Charge, which is going to allow us to get two stacks of Charge with Light whenever we pick up an Elemental Well. We're going to need a lot of stacks, so this is going to be our main way of getting stacks by picking up Wells. The other mod that we're running is kind of optional. You don't really have to run it. I just feel like it completes the build, and that's Rocket Launcher Loader. So we can reload our rocket a little bit faster since they reload pretty slow. But this one's definitely not something that you really need to be on the build. It's something nice to have. Now for the chest piece, we're running some supercharge, which is gonna allow us to have two extra stacks of charge with light. So our max amount of charge with light goes from two to four. So now we can store up to four charges with light, which is pretty nice. We also have rocket reserves, so we can carry an extra rocket. Uh, you can actually carry an extra rocket for each rocket reserve. And with the two tail, if you run one of them, you end up with like nine rockets. So nine rockets, Pretty good, pretty good. Now next up for our legs, this is where the main perk is. The perk that makes everything work and what pretty much everything is built around. And that is Argent Ordinance. Ready in or fire in a rocket launcher grants an increased damage and reload speed. That you mean a combatant with a rocket launcher consumes one stack of charge with light. So essentially our rockets just get extra damage whenever we're charged with light. And however many charges, each rocket is going to use one charge with light, meaning that if we're fully charged up with light at four stacks, we basically have four extra damage rockets, which is pretty good. And the best thing about it is that we don't really have to use them right away or there's no time limit on when we can use the extra damage rockets. As long as we're still alive with the charge with light, we can use them whenever we want to. And we only lose those charges whenever we actually damage something with a rocket. So that's pretty good. This mod is amazing. I always wanted to actually make this mod work, but the rockets just didn't have the damage. But now that they actually do, this mod is top tier again. And the other perk that we're running is Rocket Launcher Scavenger, just so we can stay nice and healthy with our armor reserves. So these two perks right here are definitely a must for this build. And the final perk that we're running is the classic Stacks and Stacks. No charge with light build will be complete without it. And this is going to allow us to get an extra charge of Stack with light for every stack that we gain. So instead of just getting two stacks from walking to a well, we gain four. It's uh, it's amazing. It's really amazing. Okay, so we're here in the EDC and this is, you know, a pretty good place to test this out. So we got our rocket. As you can see, we have no charge with light currently, but we have the build. So let's get a kill with our grenade here. All we gotta do, just get one kill. We see that we got the elemental well we pick up the elemental well and boom charge with light times four it is it's just amazing <laughs> that we can do just this with the new mods and now we have four extra damage rockets which is even you know one extra rocket that we actually have because i only have three and we spawned up with three but yeah that's all you gotta do and you don't really have to use the rockets you can just keep them in your back pocket and every time you pull them out you know they'll be ready to fire with the extra damage 
The only way that you will lose the charges uh, is if you die. But even if that happens and if you lose your charges, all you gotta do is just throw a grenade at an enemy, wait for them to die, walk over the well, and then you're back up to four. It's it's really amazing. And it makes the rockets just super powerful. And yeah, I don't know what else to really say, because that's the build. It's uh it's pretty simple but pretty effective. That's definitely it. And I'm, I'm sure you see this reload speed. It's pretty nice. The only downside of this build, which uh, I should probably mention, is that because the way the stasis nades work, it is not super great with stasis. Because it actually has to be a grenade kill. And usually the way the stasis nades get kills is with the freeze. So a lot of times it doesn't count as uh, stasis kills. But with all the light classes, it works very well. It works just amazing. But if you want to run this with some stasis, you may run into some trouble with consistency. And, you know, grenades getting kills. So that's the only downside to this. But besides that, it's, uh, it's pretty great. Pretty great. Like I said, it doesn't really have to be with the two-tail. It can be with any rocket. It works with any rocket. I just really like two-tail. But anyways, yeah, with that, we're going to call it a day, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching today. Uh, hopefully, you guys will give this a try. And just output so much damage with the two-tail. Yeah, use the two-tail. Just give the two-tail a chance, goddammit. Just give it a chance. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Have a good rest of your day.